Good morning. Daily Bible reading. Going to read Numbers chapter 33 today. Numbers 33, right at the end of Moses' life, he is recounting at the inspiration of God uh, a schedule of the places that the children of Israel visited during their wanderings in the desert after the Exodus. And it is in some ways quite tedious because it is mostly just a list of places, but there are other things in it. There's an account, a reminder of the death of Aaron. And there is also a little piece at the end about the need for purity when they come into the land of promise, which is useful for us because it reminds us that churches, although we exist for the good of the whole community in which we live, our membership needs to be kept to those who are genuine believing Christians. And we can't admit into membership people who reject key parts of the biblical message. Number 33. This is God's word. These are the journeys of the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt with their armies under the hand of Moses and Aaron. And Moses wrote their goings out according to their journeys by the commandment of the Lord. And these are their journeys according to their goings out. And they departed from Ramesses in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the first month. On the morrow after the Passover, the children of Israel went out with an high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn, which the Lord had smitten among them upon their gods also the Lord had executed judgments. And the children of Israel removed from Ramses and pitched in Succoth. And they departed from Succoth and pitched in Etham, which is in the edge of the wilderness. And they removed from Etham and turned again unto Pihiroth, which is before Baal Zephon. And they pitched before Migdol. And they departed then from before Pihiroth and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness. And went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham, and pitched in Mara. And they removed from Mara, and came unto Elam. And in Elam were twelve fountains of water, and three score and ten palm trees. And they pitched there. And they removed from Elam, and encamped by the Red Sea. And they removed from the Red Sea, and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. And they took their journey out of the wilderness of Sin, and encamped at Dofka. And they departed from Dofka, and encamped in Alush. And they removed from Alush, and encamped in Rephidim where there was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim and pitched in the wilderness of Sinai. And they removed from the desert of Sinai and picked, pitched at Kibroth Hatava. And they departed from Kibroth Hatava and encamped at Hazaroth. And they departed from Hazaroth and pitched in Rithma. And they departed from Rithma and pitched at Rimen Paros. And they departed from Rimen Paros and pitched in Libna. And they removed from Libna and pitched at Rissa. And they journeyed from Rissa and pitched in Kehalathoth. And they went from Kehalathoth and pitched in Mount Shaper. And they removed from Mount Shaper and encamped in Harada. And they removed from Harada and pitched in Machaloth. And they removed from Machaloth and encamped at Tahath. And they departed from Tahath and pitched at Tara. And they removed from Tara and pitched in Mithka. And they went from Mithka and pitched in Hashmona. And they departed from Hashmona and encamped at Mozaroth. And they departed from Mozaroth and pitched in Benajakan. And they removed from Benajakan and encamped at Horhagadad. And they went from Horhagadad and pitched in Jotbatha. And they removed from Jotbatha and encamped at Ebrona. And they departed from Ebrona and capped, encamped at Ezion Gaber. And they removed from Ezion Gaber and pitched in the wilderness of Zin, which is Kadesh. And they removed from Kadesh and pitched in Mouth Hor, in the, land, in the edge of the land of Edom. And Aaron the priest went up into Mount Hor at the commandment of the Lord and died there in the fortieth year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt in the first day of the fifth month. And Aaron was an hundred and twenty and three years old when he died in Mount Hor. And King Arad the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. And they departed from Mount Hor and pitched in Zalmona. And they departed from Zalmona and pitched in Punon. And they departed from Punon and pitched in Oboth. And they departed from Oboth and picked, pitched in Ijiabarim in the border of Moab. And they departed from Im and pitched in Debongad. And they removed from Debongad and encamped in Amund Ablathayam. And they removed from Amund Ablathayam and pitched in the mountains of Abaram before Nebo. And they departed from the mountains of Abaram and pitched in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. And they pitched by Jordan from Beth Jesimoth even unto Abdel Shittim in the plains of Moab. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, 
Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and destroy all their pictures, and destroy all their molten images, and quite pluck down all their high places. And ye shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land, and dwell therein, for I have given you the land to possess it. And ye shall divide the land by lot for an inheritance among your families. And to the more ye shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer ye shall give the less inheritance. Every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his lot falleth, according to the tribes of your fathers ye shall inherit. But if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes, and thorns in your sides, and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover, it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them. Amen.